Okay, so I have this box right here from Charlotte. So excited to open it up and see what they sent over. So first is the Magic Night Cream. Let's open it up. I've been dying to try this. I need a good night cream. I don't have anything that I'm like consistently using at night and I just heard incredible things about this. So I will definitely report back to you guys, but how gorgeous is she? Okay, moving right along. She also sent over the Magic Serum, which I've only used, <laughs> she as if like Charlotte specifically sent these to me. I've only used the um, sample of this. So I'm pumped to just like kind of dig in. I might want to put this on today as like a little priming situation. Then we have the Flawless Finish Powder, which is a favorite of mine. I already have one of these, but this is a nice little restock. This is like an airbrush type powder. I love it. Oh, this is a blush. I love the Swish. What are they called? Swish and Pop blushes. The shade Climax. Ooh. Pillow Talk Mascara. I love this mascara. It's a tried and true fave. We have ooh, a new Beauty Light Wand in Spotlight. I think this is a lighter color. I've never used this one. So this is a little highlight shade. Ooh, she pretty. We have a Lip Collagen Bath. Oh yeah, I've used this. I love this. This is like plumping, but it's like a gloss. And yeah, I like to put this on. I'll do that as just like a topper with some liner today. We have the Rock and Coal Iconic Eyeliner. This is one of my favorite brown eyeliners. It smudges out. It gives such a beautiful like smoky wing. Boom. This is a eyeshadow pencil and eyeshadow pencil. So yeah, that is bomb. I definitely want to try and use that. It's called Bronze Garnet. It's technically made for green eyes. I'm just going to bring out I have like green slash blue. Matte Revolution lipstick. Love this lipstick. What shade is this? Ooh, red carpet red. This is like a baller red. You guys know I don't normally wear reds, but it's good to have for like an occasion. And then Famously Pink. This one looks cute. Oh yeah, that looks like a freaking perfect pink. Also, do you see the little embossing on there? The freaking touch. That is luxe. I don't even want to use this. Ooh. That's gorgeous. And that is the K-I-S-S-I-N-G Fallen from the Lipstick Tree in Famously Pink. I'll link everything for you guys. And then lastly, we have same line, like same lipstick line, but the shade Pillow Talk, intense. So this is a darker Pillow Talk. I love a little dark lip moment. Pretty. Last thing, we have a rose gold eye pot, eyes to mesmerize. Ooh, it's gonna be pretty. I think I'm gonna use this with the bronze. Oh, this is gonna be good. I'm excited. Okay, and then I think I'm trying to figure out what you guys would want. Like, would you rather me do my beautiful skin? Do we keep this all Charlotte? I literally just turned the camera on and was like, I don't know what this is gonna be. <laughs> do we keep it all Charlotte and do like my favorites ever? I think we do. I have two new foundations, but I might try those out for you guys next week. They're Sephora brand and they're super affordable. So maybe we'll do that for next week's video. So let's jump in. I'm gonna pin these hers back. And I burnt my scalp while I was in Florida last week and there are literal chunks of skin falling out. It's disgusting. So if you happen to see one up in my part, please disregard. All right, so let's start with the magic serum. I already did my skin prep, but like, it's okay. We can add a little more. I probably should have read what this does, but I've seen people use it and it looks fantastic. Technically it says it's a crystal infused serum for young, younger miracle skin, something, something, something. So I'm just gonna put that in and let that kind of melt for a minute. You want your skincare to settle in for at least a couple of minutes before you start going on with your makeup. Otherwise your makeup could, like your foundation could separate. So we're gonna do this and then I'm gonna do Flawless Filter. Flawless Filter is like you guys know, the Ride or Die Charlotte prod product that I use every single day without fail, no matter what. And this is shade three. So I wanted to hop on and just do a little like chatty, little get ready with me. And then I was like, oh, I have all this new Charlotte stuff. Why don't we try these out at the same time? I was not able to vlog this week as you can obviously tell because you're not watching a vlog right now. If you have been on my channel for a while, you know Sunday is my vlog day, but this week was 
truly hellish and I physically could not vlog. I got back from Florida and I just, I like got a little bit of a cold there. I thought I was just run down, you know, cause it was like a quick trip, a lot of travel and we were like out and about the whole time. So I was like, I'm just run down. I need like a day or two to just chill. And it ended up lasting all week. And it was like more of like a little cold and then Logan got sick. And I don't know if you guys have babies, <laughs> but if you do, you understand what it's like to deal with a sick baby. This is his first time being sick. This is his first cold ever, which is kind of wild because he's nine months, nine and a half months. So the fact that he hasn't gotten sick yet really is crazy, but what a blessing it had it had been because oh my god it was hell. it's been hell sleeping getting him to sleep getting him to eat like i can tell his throat hurts he's all congested he's coughing so he doesn't really want to eat you know he, you can tell he's just uncomfortable so this morning we actually ran the shower and we let the bathroom get really steamy and then we just put him in there well we were in there with him obviously and just let him breathe in that steamy air and we were hoping that it would just let him, you know, feel better and like breathe better. And he did seem to be in better spirits after that. We gave him a bath too, but he, you can tell he's just exhausted. I am pilling from that serum, you guys. I think I put on the Hollywood Flawless a little too quick. So I'm just gonna try and let that melt in for a minute. Ethan just took him for a drive because he was like, I need to try and see if maybe he'll sleep. Like he just looks so tired, but putting him down from a, for a nap would be miserable. And he just woke up like an hour ago. So Ethan's like, I'm gonna take him for a drive and we know he'll probably fall asleep in the car. So anyway, that is why I didn't vlog this week. It just was impossible. And I kind of had a busy week as well, but on top of it, I was just not feeling well and Logan wasn't feeling well and all of that. So that's why we are here. But I figured I'd catch you up on life while we're getting ready. I'm gonna gonna move on to beautiful skin. I feel like I've seen mixed reviews on this recently. Like I feel like people are not that into it. Like people are like saying it doesn't play well with other products, which I have not experienced that. So I don't know, but I wear the shade four. I do feel like it's almost like a, oh, we're a little light because I'm a little self, still self tanned. That's okay. We're gonna blend it out. I almost feel like mixing it with a moisturizer and wearing it almost as like a tinted moisturizer is a really nice way to wear it. I don't know, like I'm not grabbing for it as much as like an everyday foundation, if that makes sense. Because when I go to put foundation on, I really want like, I want like a good bit of coverage at this point. And I just keep going for Dior Air Flash. I just do. But I do love this foundation. It's lighter. Actually, I don't know if I would say it's lighter, but it's, it's technically skincare where like it's supposed to make your skin better over time. So I love that about it. But I mean, it really is beautiful. Like, look at that. That's beautiful. With the flawless, Hollywood flawless underneath, I'm just kind of keeping it light and buffing it in. I really want to try out the Say Concealer. I just saw Michaela on TikTok review that and she said it's incredible hydrating for the under eye. I am dying to try it out. So anyway, what else is going on with my life? Oh, it's just been stressful this week, you guys. You ever just get in like that headspace where you're like, everything's a mess? Like I just got into the headspace where I was like, I don't feel like I have a grip on anything in my life. Like I just don't have my shit together. And I'm very much like a type A personality. And when I don't feel like I have my shit together, I kind of lose it. And just like, I don't know. It's just, it's just, kind I just, bleh, bleh, bleh. like literally that's how I feel. It's just been that kind of week. So this is therapeutic for me to just sit down with you guys and chat. We found out that they're raising our rent, which sucks because I mean, we hate the fact that we're renting anyway. We, if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you know, we have been wanting to buy for a long time. I know a lot of people are going through this right now. So I'm not gonna like try and complain and be like, I'm the only one dealing with this. I use Nude Sticks Concealer, shade two, and then this is um, the new All Nighter Vitamin C setting spray. So yeah, it just sucks uh, because we, we wanted to own by now and with the market, it just is not realistic. Things are going for insanely, in just insane amounts and not what they're worth. And we're like, it's just not smart financially, but we're just like, initially our plan was, okay, let's just wait for the market to settle down and then we'll be able to buy a house. But we're like, what if the market doesn't ever settle down? And like, this is just the new norm and this is just what things are gonna cost now. That is what's stressing me out because initially I just thought things would level out or at least we'd be close by now. I, I, I was hoping that we weren't gonna have to renew this lease. So now that we have to renew it, we're in a situation where like, we don't have a choice because we don't have anywhere else to live. And they're raising rent on us, which again, 
like blows <laughs> it really sucks because it's just like and it's a big chunk that they're raising it they're raising it a lot because everyone who wants to buy who can't buy is renting so the demand is way up so they can charge whatever they want so that sucks we you know we were hoping things would also pop up on the market that we liked we're like willing to go look at stuff and there's nothing it's just it's crap it sucks so anyway, I don't want to like come on here and bitch to you guys the whole time, but that's just what, what's going on in my life. So I'm like, I think that's a big reason why I'm feeling like I don't have a grip on anything. I'm like, where are we living? Like, we don't really want to be stuck here, but like, do we look to move somewhere else where we could buy a house? Like, do we want to leave this area? Do we just stick it out? You know, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot to consider. Then it's like, just with a baby, it just, everything is like 10 times more stressful because you have to consider their life and their environment and everything is just a lot harder. Like it's not as easy to just pick up and go do something. So I'm also definitely dealing with like the ad adjustment of, oh, sorry guys, I'm using just the Charlotte Magic Powder just to like lightly, lightly, lightly set. I don't want a lot of powder. I'm definitely also dealing with like the transition of becoming a mom and still like working full time and content creation being my full time job where I work for myself and I'm running my own business and sorry, I need to get the foundation off my lips and put something on my lips that in itself is just stressful but when you have a baby and yeah you're like running a business on top of everything it's just a lot it's just a lot so it's okay sometimes i go through these like overwhelmed phases and then i get a grip but like i'm definitely in the middle of one right now need to get a grip <laughs> but everything's gonna be okay i know that i just have to have faith i have to keep doing what i'm doing keep pushing everything's gonna work out the way it's supposed to i can't plan my whole life even though that's what i wish i could do because all I want to do is plan. I have hair in my mouth at them. One other Logan update that's actually a positive. Not that every Logan update isn't positive. I didn't mean it like that, but you know what I mean. He has struggled with eczema, psoriasis, something like really dry skin rashes all over his body for a long time, like probably since he was born. And I have really sensitive skin and I struggled with that as a kid too. I still have it I'm pretty mild, but I still have it on my body in the winter. So we've been, you know, we've been just trying everything. We got a steroid from our doctor, which we don't love to use just because we don't want to be like loading a steroid on him every day. We tried Aquaphor, we tried CeraVe, like like literally lathered him in aquaphor every night like that thick vaseline type disgusting consistency like we would glob that all over him and then put his pjs on and i was like this is so gross but we're like what do we do because it's like the dry skin is so bad we're like we have to do something so then i remembered when i was little my mom used to give me oatmeal baths and i was like why did i not think of this but until now why don't we try an oatmeal bath with like the collodial oatmeal so I, we Amazoned some Aveeno colloidal oatmeal bath stuff for babies. We gave him one oatmeal bath and I am not kidding you when I'm telling you it healed him within one bath. I was like, this can't be real. So after the first bath, he was still a little dry, but he was not red and inflamed and like his skin was not raised. And then we bought the Aveeno colloidal oatmeal, oatmeal um, lotion and we put that on over top and we just started doing the lotion every night, not an oatmeal bath every night and no more Aquaphor CeraVe, just that. And his skin is almost perfect right now. I'm like, so the reason I shared this is if you're a mom and you're dealing with this or you have a baby or know a baby in your life with any type of eczema situation, try it. Try the Aveeno, I'll link it for you guys below. Try the Aveeno Collodial Oatmeal Bath and Moisturizer, okay? Because it works, worked for Logan. And what else was I gonna say about it? It's been a lifesaver. And like I said, we've only given him one oatmeal bath. I think we're gonna start doing it once a week, probably after swim, cause he goes to swim on Sundays and the chlorine I'm sure irritates his skin. So I think we're gonna do one oatmeal bath a week and then just use the moisturizer every other day. And I'm just so happy. I think possibly it has to do with the weather getting a little warmer, but it's still, it's like, it's like 40 today, so it's like not that warm. I, th I really am attributing it fully to the Aveeno stuff. This is not Charlotte. This is just my benefit brow. I'm gonna quickly just fill these in and then I'll come back to you guys because my camera's overheating, so I'm just gonna give it a minute. Okay, eyebrows are on. I really need to find a new eyebrow gel because my nude sticks one like exploded and it's kind of a mess every time I put it on. Anyway, what else is new with me? It's actually my birthday next week, which I'm like, uh, I don't know. I just like, 
I don't, time is just so weird. I feel like I'm at the age now where I'm like, time is just going by so fast that it's like very weird. Last year I was pregnant on my 30th birthday. So I feel like I kind of got gypped to be honest. I couldn't drink, I didn't like, I feel like I would have had it not been COVID and had I not been pregnant, I would have done like a big thing, I don't know, like a trip or something. So I feel like I kind of got gypped. Let's try this Climax blush, looks really pretty. Hmm, it's more peachy than I thought, but it's very pretty. I was hoping it'd be a little more pinky. So I don't know, My some of my friends are bringing me um, out to lunch slash brunch tomorrow because um, they're not available like on my actual birthday, which is next Friday. So that'll be fun. I'm excited for that. But I'm like, Ethan's like, what should we do? I'm like, I don't really care or no. I honestly might just ask him to take me to the movies because I haven't been to the movies since I was pregnant and I freaking love the movies. So I feel like that would be fun. There's a new Marvel movie out. I'm like, I'm such an old lady. I think that would be fun just to like kind of get out, maybe grab dinner and then go to the movies. Is that like really lame and sad? That's kind of where I'm at right now in my life. Uh, yeah, so that's going that's what's going on with me my birthday. Let's do let's try this little uh, Color chameleon bronze garnet. It's like an eye. It's like a cream eyeshadow pencil I'm just gonna put it like here and then put it onto the lid. I'm gonna like blend this with my finger. This color is Stunning. I actually think I could have done like a cool little wing with this, but it's too late now So I'm just gonna blend this out with my finger. Um, I think I'm just gonna blend it like upward and do it like an eyeshadow. See what I mean? I just want, kind of want like a, I don't know, smoky, blended out situation. I feel like this eyeshadow brush had eyeshadow, had eyeshadow on it. What else can I tell you guys? Let's see. Oh, so I was going through my finances today and last couple weeks. I'm like very behind on like being organized with my finances so meaning like my invoices for brand deals and just like my overall business income i've just been i feel like i've been flat out so i haven't had time to like really go through and be like okay who do i need to invoice who owes me money that sort of thing so i did that this morning and i have brands that have not paid me from 2021 yeah you heard me right 2021 last year it is may almost we are six months into 2022 and I have brands that have not paid me yet. It's honestly laughable. It's so annoying though. It's like, I feel like this is something that not a lot of people maybe know about when you do a lot of contract work, just chasing people down for money that you are owed for work that you have done is crazy. And in general, like even if they pay you on time, the terms are usually net 60, net 45, sometimes it's net 30. And it's just like, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. So yeah, I have two invoices from 2021 that are still open. And then I have, oh, this is stunning. This is this. And then I have so many from, even from January, February, March of this year that are still open. It's brutal. So I sent out a couple reminders. I spent my time on the phone with some accounting departments at different agencies. And I'm like, guys, what's happening here? Also, since we moved to New Hampshire, my business is now out of New Hampshire. So I, we had to like switch that. And that was a whole freaking debacle where we kept getting denied. I mean, it's just, no one, how, how come no one teaches you how to do these things? Like I was a business minor in college. Why did I not learn standard business practices for owning your own business? I really never thought I'd have to use any part of my business degree. I'd never would have thought that I would have been doing this, but <laughs> would have been nice. I think that's so pretty, is not? That? that was so easy. I just kind of like blended everything with my fingers is not pretty i do want to use my um beauty light wand i always get really sad opening these up but i'll do this for you guys because i love you this is about to be very satisfying oh my god did you see this is gonna be such a pretty highlight boom boom oh she's bright boom 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 cupid's bow we're just gonna do mascara and lips and we're gonna be done Okay, don't forget to close these back up before you put the cap back on because they get so messy in there. I'm gonna use my finger, I think. Let's make sure we're clean. Just to blend that out. How freaking pretty is that? Oh, wow, pretty, 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 pretty. So the goal is next week we will be vlogging. The other thing I have been so bad about is the podcast. It has totally fallen by the wayside and I feel sad and stressed about it because it's one of those things that I 
honestly freaking love doing and it's just not been a priority because everything else has taken a priority and that makes me sad so like i told myself today i will be putting some time around thinking about what we want to do because we want to like just get a little more organized with like the structure of our episodes if you guys don't listen to the podcast you should. We have a bunch of episodes that are really fun. Um, I'll link that for you. But I just wanted to get a little more organized on the structure of like how many seasons we're going to do. And right now we've just like been kind of recording week to week, having fun with it. But you know me, I like to plan. So I was like, let's get a little more organized. I want to put like a social media schedule together because I feel like I haven't been able to promote any of the episodes on social media, which is like a big reason to or a big way to get traction and traffic and i feel like if i'm not doing that i'm kind of missing out we're almost recording just for the sake of recording like i just you know what i mean so i want to get organized with that that's the plan hopefully i can spend some time doing that today i remember liking this mascara more i think i just need to give it a little time oh yeah there we go you just need multiple coats it is very pretty though this eye look ended up being incredible i wish i had put a little bit of a or filling primer on in addition to that serum just because I have texture and pores that I just like to cover up. What I might do is pop on a little of the um, airbrush powder and just try and hit some of those areas that are annoying me. That highlighter is beaming. Like I almost need to tone it down. You see how that just kind of like smooths everything out? Just that like a light layer of that powder. I don't want to do too much because I don't want to be like crazy matte, but. All right, let's just do lips. I'll try and keep it in the Charlotte fam for lips. So let's do, I think I have Iconic Nude here. Yep. This is one of my favorite Charlotte lip liners ever. Sorry, you guys can't talk to you while I'm doing lip liner. Should we try the new really pretty pink lipstick? I think we should. Look at her. Pretty. Honestly, again, it's a little more peachy than I want it to be. In the summer, I think it'll be better because I'll be a little more tan. Now I'm going on top of that collagen bath. This is in the shade Rosy Glow. All right, guys, so here is the final look. Hope you guys enjoy this little chatty catch up. Get ready with me. I really needed this, so thank you. I will link all of the products below for you as always. I hope I mentioned everything, but if not, check the description box. I will put shades and everything there for you. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know which of these products was your favorite and just in general, which Charlotte product is your favorite because I'm going to make a little order after this video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.